So, what is going on, everybody? Mm, let's see. Uh, let's see what we do here. Um, hopefully, you guys can hear me pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that we gotta unplug this. Okay. Okay, we want. No, not that. Okay. So. Okay. Um. see what's going on okay so to begin I do have some things up and running but I'm not gonna show the new setup anyways not till sometime next month I say sometime next month because there's still some stuff that I have to do before I get back to actually wanting to work with any music whatsoever um what I would like to talk about today is fair use and if it's true what they say on social media when you see these captions that say share this before the internet takes it down. And this this is a very good this is a very great topic discussion on so many levels. This this is a very great discussion because it points out to what it, it points out to what what is true and somebody that just experienced it so last night and I'm gonna give my story before I give my thoughts on all this so last night I what was it actually let me go back to a couple days before a couple days before maybe maybe even a, even maybe even two weeks I'm not quite too sure exactly upon the timeline but I do know one of them a good majority of my videos that I post on Facebook are gone those that know me know I'm gonna post either on my YouTube channel okay or I'm gonna post on Facebook sometimes I do both now my gameplay videos they're still up on my uh, Facebook um, just like uh, post them also on my YouTube channel, which is Jazzy Entertainment, and what I would like to discuss. But this is what happened. I posted the like my favorite um, Michael Jackson bad tour is bad. Okay, it's the bad era. I posted the Thriller one and the Beat It one from that concert. It's on the internet. It's for fair use. It's for people to enjoy. It's for people to watch. It's for people to post and share those are gone I didn't even know those were gone last night I got a notification about those videos but wait there's a third video the third video was the main actual source upon the reason why now we we, we can go into conspiracy if you want but let's cut through that really quick okay we cut through that they showed what looked like the Thriller uh, video shown. Okay, because of uh, this video, due to copyright reasons, three of your videos will be removed. Now, we gave you warnings in the past. Facebook is not run by people. It's ran by machines and computers. Okay, just like YouTube. It is ran by machines, not people that's why you have all these complaints going on with these YouTube strikes and uh, people pulling the ads okay same thing with Facebook Facebook really just wants to start charging people now I thought it was bullshit until I seen a screenshot of a screen recorded video upon people having to pay people having the message and with it being blue it is now green Nothing is free in this world. Now, when I traced it back to the main source of the issue, what was saying, what was considered quote unquote copyright, but it's on the internet. It's already showed on Lifetime Television. I'm talking about the official trailer for Michael Jackson's Search to Neverland, the new biopic that will be shown on Memorial Day of this month. I traced it back to the main source. It was because of that video, is the reason why I'm blocked for three days till Monday. 
All right, tell Monday I am blocked. I can't message anybody. Nobody can. I can't answer calls. I can't post shit. I can't add anybody. Nothing. Because of that. Okay? What was there that was so copywritten? There was no music. Okay? There was no music. God, remember, the Search for Neverland trailer was the main source. It's on YouTube. It, they already showed the trailer on Lifetime. My question is this. Where's the fair use? If it's out there for the public, it is there for fair use. We had this discussion before. YouTube went through this. People are still going through it. You don't see this kind of issues with Twitter. Yeah, we had the issues with uh. Some people said MySpace. I did not have that problem with MySpace. Because I didn't know how to post music on MySpace, but I did know how to add music when it came to other playlistings. And it's out there for the public. If anything that you post on social media, TV, that makes it to social media. People are going to want it on their channel. People are going to want to share it. It is there for fair use. Like I said, these media websites are not ran by people. They are ran by computers and machines. Look it up. Now. There had to be something about that video that they didn't really want out there. You can call it a conspiracy theory. They don't want people. I don't know what it is. If they said, oh, well, it's too early for this, then why did you guys show the damn preview anyway? And why is it still up everywhere else? But when I looked on there, the video is now back, but yet I am still blocked. So then they decided to go ahead and hit me with the other two videos. And as I look through, a good majority of my own content is gone. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr. MySpace. These are not these are created by people but not ran by humans. They have these computers and machines set to automatic and they're just going to attack whoever the hell they want. That's why what's been going on with YouTube, if you guys been paying attention with the advertisement ads being pulled, but there's so much more to that. And this ain't the first time. Like even when you there there's a couple there's a person on my uh, Facebook friends list. She loves to go live, okay? Uh, she's kind of involved in music, but she hasn't went live for a while because of one thing. She kept going live. I'm, okay, people like to play music when they go live. I get it, but you can't keep it on there because of copyright reasons. Even if it's your own music, it gets took down. Let's say if you don't post any music whatsoever and you're still going live, right? My friend, she does this, okay? So what she did, she took out the music. Okay, let's just remove that. She likes just to talk, do topic discussions, get stuff off her chest. And because of this, YouTube has blocked her from going live. Just like Instagram can block you from going live. But Instagram don't have the same strict rules about the uh, music, though. When it comes to doing the live stuff, no. Um, there's been a couple other people that's been blocked from going live for no apparent reason. And you know what it was? Because it would say this, it's not your content or copyright reasons. What the fuck is copy? Like, if it's me and several friends, we're walking down the street, right? And we're going Facebook, say, hey, let's say if one takes the phone, hey man, let's go Facebook Live. All right. Have a good time. We're going Facebook Live, right? This is an example. This ain't really happened. We're going Facebook Live, right? Then once you try to post it, you get that strike. All oh, this sent your content, blah blah blah. Who? What the fuck? And then they'd be making up some bullshit ass names. Who it will belong to? Just like the movie Oscars. They show these white people movies who are winning these awards. And these movies don't even exist. But when something is posted out there on the internet for people's enjoyment, it's out there. It's there for fair use and for free. But now, they're attacking a lot of people's pockets. 
So now a lot of people have to charge $10 to, this is your price range, $0.35, cents, $10, $25, um, $30 range for videos if you want to get them. And that's what I'm saying. Like, where's the fair use in all of this? Make sure this is working. Where's the fair use? Kind of put that up right there. Okay, so where's the fair use? Where is it? We don't know. Because there's no such thing as fair use. People may think there's fair use. But nothing's really fair. So anybody that's trying to get a hold of me, trying to message me through Facebook, uh, anything, I'm just blocked. Temp I'm temporary blocked for three days, which I'll be back on Monday. Yeah. Where's the fair use, right? But like I said, if you go back to like those videos... Uh, like the racial videos with all the pe people getting killed by cops, like last year and half of this year. Um, the shit about uh, like the pictures that you may see from uh, Donald Trump with the KKK, or any kind of other videos in that in that area, right? Anybody of color they attack because. On social media, anybody of color, they attack on social media who share and post those videos because social media, the masses do not want that out there. But when it comes, like, I want you guys to really pay attention. Okay, I don't want to play the race card in this, but that's what it is. It's about race. If it's about a white person that's maybe running for president. Or if it's about these cop kill about the uh, uh, people in the black community getting co getting killed by cops for no apparent reason, and they show about that white person that did it. Social media, the masses want that taken down because they don't want that kind of image for their people. Now, because of that, if somebody posts it, they're going to attack a person of color on social media and say, "Hey, you're blocked from this for." however long because of this in particular video now if it's a white person right posting on social media about anybody of color did doing anything like sh like robbing or killing social media masses don't have a problem with keeping that on the internet because the masses and the media this is why people do not like us people of skin color okay I'm gonna go back I'm mixed, so I can speak on this. I am South African. I am Jamaican, Egyptian, Italian, Eskimo, okay? And Cherokee Indian as well. I don't know if I said that. So I'm a person of color. The social media, the masses, the social masses of social media, even... I'm not just talking about on the internet. I'm talking about on the news as well, like CNN, Fox, all that stuff. Okay? Even YouTube is its own news channel. Those media networks, those social media networks, okay? When it this is why people don't like us, of people of color. Because social media is making us out to be animals. And we thrive into that. And that we get carried away with that. So then we want to go do some stupid shit to try to make a point that makes it worse. Because we fall into their traps. But like I said, when it comes to one of us being on those social media, those masses with that. Yeah, those videos can be shared and stayed up all day, every day long. And you won't get in trouble for the for posting it because it wouldn't be considered copyright because why because they also had the computers and the machines program to target us of color people of color they have that targeted right it makes sense if any like if you go back and you look at these things some of them are still out there 
but there's it doesn't for how long I don't know. Um, a good majority of them still out there. But if you look at it, how if you like you just gotta go and search, right? Like see who's white, okay. See, look what they're posting. And you can't tell me that they're not getting striked because they're white. You know that old saying, if it's white, it's all right. You know who said that? Chris Tucker. And he's right. You take a look at somebody at skin color on their media networks. See what they post. Then all of a sudden, it's gone because they got that copyright strike. We want, yes, we want fair use. But it's not going to happen because we are people of color. And I'm trying to figure out what the, what the fuck like, like I posted the uh, like I said I posted the Michael Jackson search for Neverland bio trailer that will be shown on Memorial Day of this month on Lifetime Television. It looks hella great. It looks good. I recommend anybody checking out the trailer and watch it. Um, not Navi, he been uh Michael Jackson's body double for like twenty maybe thirty years, and he looks just like Michael. He's he's really dedicated to him. Okay, but. It's about race. Social media and anything that you post, if you wondered why you get hit with them copyright strikes, and it's only people of color, because it's about race. It's always been about race. It's always been about race. And this is what I wanted to point out. So I'm done with my little rant. This is what I want to point out. I'm out.